morning windmill. It's gonna get warm today. I'm a little bit excited. Welcome back to In the Truck with Tony. Yeah, that's about all I do this time of year. Well, besides shop work. Oh, just dumped a load of feed wheat at the elevator. We are going up to load winter wheat now. Just pulling up to the bins here. Might be a little hairy because it hasn't been plowed out yet. So let's see what we find. Well, that was better than I expected. Today is about the first day it's been above zero. Sorry about the sun there. First day it's been above zero in a week. So it's supposed to be almost 25 degrees today. 35 tomorrow. I'm gonna deal with that. It's gonna almost be feel like t-shirt weather by then. Off to the elevator. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Mm -hmm. I'm fifteen. Number sixteen's pulling up over there. It is one oh four. I'll uh, let you know what time I get to the elevator. Three o'clock, what is that? Almost two hours, four minutes short of two hour wait. What else am I gonna do today? loaded up now Amy's on her way over to pick me up gotta take me back over to my pickup that's over 30 miles back on the other side of the farm and then uh, I'm gonna pick up all the drag auger stuff that goes with this auger so I can clean out the bottoms of these bins not fortunate to have every bin on a hopper but we have most of them on a hopper pretty spoiled not gonna deny that boy that was a drag it because they're drag augers it, that's that's why they're a drag Morning, back to the truck. Everything checks out, kind of fired up. It's like 31 degrees. Highways are frosty, but it's 31 degrees.
back of the bins. Now the fun begins. Time to shovel out a grain bin. Camera died, so you missed a time lapse of shoveling up that bin. It is empty, however, but don't fret. Four more to go. I'll show you eventually. It's not to look that oh man, just threw in my work hat. It's not to look that way. The imitators. Looks like I'll be washing the truck tomorrow night. Well, now that's gonna kill productivity today. Looking like about 25 trucks, at least, maybe a few more. Still waiting, hour and a half in. We have arrived. Three hours to get to this point. Well, they are done taking winter wheat at the elevator, so I don't really know what to do now. I could go home and wash this, but then my pickup's at the bins. I could take this, take my pickup home, and this is at the bins. I uh, check at home, I need some work, some of the tires fit, fixed. I don't know, what should I do? All right, made the decision, going home, gonna wash the truck. We'll go get the pickup tomorrow. Yeah, that's, that's the plan. So this is a pretty rare occasion. One, two, three, four, five. All five of the trucks are home. Usually got one sitting somewhere else, but here they all are. Morning windmill. Well, it's time to get some stuff out of the shop. What in the world? What's going on here? Yeah, that's even the new tire. Well, I got a few tires I'm having to air up when I'm hauling, so I'm gonna see if we can figure out what's leaking in them. Or hopefully just valve stem, they're loose, or a nail. That'd be a lot easier than patching. Pretty sure that's a John Deere bolt. It's metric, it's, it's gotta be John Deere. Uh, 
get the hole reamed out first. Then we're gonna stick one of these doohickeys in there. little grease there we go plugged it all good no bubbles well, that inside dual tire there has been an issue for a while, going slowly going flat. So I did air it up a little here just to get enough pressure in there to find a leak. Looks like it's coming from the valve stem around it is loose and it's pretty hard to get in there with the outside dual on. So I'm gonna take that tire off, tighten that up, see if it quits leaking. And then I got mud flaps for this trailer to put on the back behind the front two axles. So get that on and I think this truck's ready to go back out I'll do a truck tour just wait that's coming lots of people have been asking about our trucks what engines they have which transmissions different things like that what years they are so that's coming don't just just wait it's coming there it's starting to bubble just a little bit as well as I'm turning the tire and I see where is it at this I don't know if it's leaking or not but there's a nail right there I don't think that was in far enough to leak. What? Yep, not leaking. And done. So here's the flap that I'm hanging. We're gonna hang one on both sides, obviously. But I got these aluminum brackets from the Wilson dealer and some flaps. I gotta drill four holes in the frame there and bolt them on. I'm gonna use what they call a hole duplicator. And it's just a center punch on the end, but these are all different sizes. So I can, this is like for a three eighths, they go up to half inch, a little bigger. And the nice thing about these is you can clamp something on, like we got this bracket clamped on, give these a little tap, and it'll be exactly the same dimensions as what your piece was, because these fit tight, and you're not just guessing. Probably can get these at a welding shop. I've had these since I went to college for welding and they are super handy because they're always exactly centered well I gotta check make sure everything's square I got them um, put up about two inches from the bottom and I got a big welding clamp I just go welding clamp holding them in place check everything out that looks good wrong size Still the wrong size. Still in the wrong size, good grief. If you do need one in a bigger size, I've wrapped the ends of these, I can't see them real well. I've wrapped the ends of these in black tape. Made them like three quarters inch. Works good for that too. Perfect. If all the rocks fall off of everything under here. 
Good way to gravel your yard though. You sweep out the shop after you park your trucks in the shop. Throw it in the yard. I don't know if you can see that or not. Perfectly centered. So I like to use a regular center punch to remark the holes. I don't want to really hit these uh, fancy, whatever they call them, hole duplicators. Because if that tip goes bad, then what are you going to do? You can't sharpen it. So just lightly mark them with this. Get them with the real center punch so that your drill bit will follow them. Now for this side, that was quick. Well, I just greased the truck and trailer. It's all ready to go back to work. Do you know it takes a whole tube of grease to grease the truck and trailer? We do now. Battery time. I isolated all the connections, pulled off all these jumpers between each one so I can test each battery by itself. This one tests borderline weak. so. Cleaning up all the connections, going to see if that doesn't uh, fix my problem. They are certainly a little bit corroded. And this one was a little bit loose, which makes you think that jumping it to here might be why this one's not getting fully charged. We'll see. Get everything cleaned up, put back together, and see what happens after that. Super handy. Jumper lines, jumper, whatever you want to call these leads, coming out to external battery hookups. Super nice for jumping other things or this trick when I won't start. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget you can get the Fast Egg merchandise, hats, sweatshirts, t-shirts in the link below. And uh, if this is your first video, don't forget to subscribe and uh, hit that like button. If you got a question or a comment, go ahead and uh, leave it in the comments below and uh, you'll catch me next video.